education has always been the backbone of any successful society. Education is one of the best means by which people can uplift their lives. Unfortunately, good quality education has not been generally available to the people who need it the most. And to almost all Filipino families, uh, education is a very important means to a better life. With resources being centered in the national capital region, it doesn't come as a surprise that the country's academic expertise is concentrated here too. Even within Metro Manila, access to quality education doesn't come cheap, a problem that makes looking for schools outside of it a little harder. This is exactly what one of the leading corporations in the country is trying to address. What's the key resource of, of our country? It's our people. And we said to ourselves, if we want our people to be able to participate meaningfully in nation building and to be competitive within ASEAN and the rest of the world, we really need to arm our people with better quality education that is accessible to everyone, including, of course, the poorer segments of society. That's the background. Even as some schools offer programs at a cheaper cost, quality of teaching and school experience can sometimes be compromised. When you look at film education, we look like our schools look like any other school. But what makes us different is really our focus on our market. Our market is predominantly from the D and E markets. The institution has found ways for the D and E markets to easily avail of quality education by making it accessible both financially and intellectually. Because of their backgrounds, uh, they, they come in a, at a much weaker level than other students come in. Our challenge is how do we help kids who are essentially grade four upon entry take, take and pass the same exams as LaSalle and uh, UP students do? Through the course of their college education, the students prove to be as competent as those from other schools. So we've actually improvised and created a system uh, internally that, that applies certain principles of teaching kids who are from weaker backgrounds or who are financially challenged. Aralio University has been one of the most prestigious schools in Nueva Ecija. But since its acquisition by the company in 2004, it has produced even more competitive graduates. With currently over 8,000 students, AU prides itself in providing high-quality education for low-income families across the province. The Department of Education here in Cabanatuan City has been witness to the company's commitment to academic development. Alam natin, mga bata na galing sa public school ay hindi kaya mag-aral sa mga universidad. Pero bakit nandito dito ngayon sa Arolyo ang karamihan ng mga bata? Sapagkat ando doon nga yung kanilang commitment na makatulong para sa mga estudyante na may handa ang mga estudyante natin kung saan man nila gustong tumahak. Second-year education student Lizelle Venancia says AU gave her the confidence she needed to perform better in school. Kasi po, parang ang pakiramdam ko po is iba po ako, different po ako sa ibang ano. Parang nakakababa ng self-esteem. Kasi hindi ko magawa yung mga normal na ginagawa nila, hindi ko maisuot yung mga normal na sinusuot nila, ganun. Parang ramdam ko po talaga na naiiba ko. Nakaka-apekto po sa pag-aaral ko. Minsan, iniisip ko, ay kaya ko ba ito? Ganun. Lizelle transferred to AU from a school in Iloilo and was able to see the disparity in the learning methods. Nadidevelop po yung learnings ng estudyante nila at saka talagang natututukan. Kesa po doon sa school na pinanggalingan ko, bahala na po kami kung anong mangyari sa amin, kung matutuman kami o hindi. Wala. Wala pong nangyayari. Sabi ko, ma, kung dito ako mag-aaral, gagraduate ako nang walang natututunan. Lizelle's confidence in herself and her performance in school will not be possible without the guidance of the outstanding teachers that guide students like her. Marami po akong namit na professor dito sa AU na nakapagpalakas po ng self-esteem ko na nakasabi na kaya mo yan, hindi ka naiiba, may kaya kang gawin. Minomotivate po nila ako para po ipagpatuloy ko pa. But the mode of teaching here in FINMA is that we engage students. We do active learning. With that, uh, students are encouraged to participate. And then, nawawala kasi emotional barrier nila. Let me call on the names of the students 
With a renewed self-value, Lizelle is now on the right track to fulfilling her dreams and eventually giving back to her parents who have sacrificed so much to send her to school. Ang goal ko rin po talaga yun. Pabigyan sila ng bahay, gano'n. Tapos yung tipong, ano, yung tipong hindi na nila kailangan magtrabaho, ako nalang po-provide sa kanila. Para kahit pa paano, may pagmalaki din nila ako. Our belief is we will only be successful if we offer a good quality product in education. And what's interesting is, no matter how low our tuition fees are, it is, it is, so, it is a lot for them. They want to make sure that when they spend, they still get the best value for their money. Lizelle is just one of the many students out there who have the potential to be great movers of society. And with continued support, students like her might just be able to fulfill their dreams of leading better lives. Kung hindi po natin tuturuan ng maayos yung kabataan, paano po, paano po sila maging successful in the future? Tinabi ko po sa sarili ko, gusto kong maging teacher para masigurado na may matututunan yung estudyante. Our goal is to really have low tuition fees so you don't even need scholarships. Over and beyond that, we should still give scholarships because there are still students who cannot afford that. We want to make the lives of our students better through education. And the way to do that is to help them get jobs at the end of the day. I have always felt that because so much of our country's resources are in the hands of business, business really has a major role to play in uplifting the lives of people. That's why uh, we in FINMA have made it, in fact, our mission to make lives better. Business really has a role beyond making profits. Filipino families will do anything to have at least one of their children gain a college degree, which does not always mean ending up with good education and getting jobs into professions that are sustainable. To make it affordable, funny, it's unique to schools, is to apply business principles. So we, 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 we really try to become really, really efficient in order to maximize our resources. So we're, 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 we're keeping our costs low when it comes to people. Uh, like, I'm one president of six, five different institutions, and so we're reducing our overhead costs. We're trying to maximize our faculty, focusing them on teaching. They have also applied, among other things, a method called flip classroom, where academic responsibilities are encouraged to be done inside the halls. We we'll actually discourage homework because you think of our community, and I've, I've, I've visited the homes of our students, they don't have electricity. They are in totally in, in houses and homes, totally not conducive to learning. So what you want to do is maximize their time in school and their work in school and reduce their, their work at home so that learning is, takes place where it's most conducive. But just like any other company, they are of course also expected to succeed in terms of profit. I have our return on investment targets. I need to, I'm, I'm being measured by my profitability, I, by my returns, all of the same things. But our belief is we will only be successful if we offer a good quality product in education. The company understands that even with a low cost of education, some students still won't be able to afford the quality of education the university offers. Our goal is to really have low tuition fees so you don't even need scholarships. Over and beyond that, we should still give scholarships because there are still students who cannot afford that. The company offers a scholarship program called Handog Kaibigan, which gives 50% off on tuition and miscellaneous fees for selected students, which breaks down the net of a student to about 10,000 pesos per year. This has allowed the company to expand into lower income families. We want to make the lives of our students better through education. And the way to do that is to help them get jobs at the end of the day, uh, to, to get uh, fruitful employment. Such is the case for Alvin Lorian, who graduated in 2014 from the University of Pangasinan. His degree in business administration with a major in financial management helped him land a job as budget and management analyst at the Department of Budget and Management in Malacanang. Graduate ng, ng 2014. Po. Noong April 2014, 
mayroon ako na receive na recognition as one of the outstanding student leaders in the university. Even though Alvin is now a valuable member of society, he still manages to keep his feet on the ground and uses the lessons he learned from his life struggles. His degree has helped him understand and expand the humble family business that sent him and all of his sisters to school. Hindi yun sapat para masabi ko na natulungan ko sila. Continuous help ang gusto ko i-provide sa pamilya ko. Nakita ko yung paghihirap nila para matulungan kami. I foresee na in the future, ako yung mag-expand ng business namin. Sige yung ama ko po. Ito yung idol ko. Laging nanay! Ito nagturo sa akin na mag-business. Alvin's mother makes different kinds of home-cooked snacks, selling them in the three stores that they now have around Pangasinan. But it hasn't always been easy for the family, especially when they were just starting out. Ganito yung buhay namin. Minsan inaabot kami, inaabot sila ng ano, alas dosya ng gabi. Sa pagkatapos nilang gumawa na assignment nila, yan, trabaho na. Parang awang-awa ako sa sarili ko. I feel na parang naiya kasi ang dami kong dala. Aside pa dun sa libro na dala ko at sa bag ko. Pinagtitingin na ako ng mga tao. Uh, parang weird na uh, nagbebenta ka sa school, tas lalaki pa. Then na-realize ko, para sa pamilya ko to, uh, hindi, ko, hindi ko dapat to ikaya. Alvin is one of the products of the Handog Kaibigan program. Having to sell all kinds of food to provide for his schooling and to help his mother earn for the family, Alvin learned the value of money at a very young age the hard way. Mapagsabay ko yung pag-aaral ko at the same time, nagtitinda ako. Every weekend, tinutulungan ko yung mama ko magluto. Every weekdays, tinutulungan ko naman sa pagpapak, tapos pagtitinda. Nag-isip ako na kailangan ko matulungan pa yung magulang ko. Kasi alam ko hindi sapat yung kinikita nila. Mula nang nag-start ako, alos every corner ng school, ng university. So, nilalakad ko yan hanggang sa mabenta, para lang makabenta. So, Nagbebenta ako ng ano, tulad ng banana chips, kamote chips, na uh, yema, pugo. Dati ang kinakain namin, toyo at mantika, ganun lang. Being a FINMA scholar, um, malaking tulong yun at ginawa sa pamilya namin at, sa, at, at the same time. Dahil nabawasan din yung expenses ng parents ko. Nakaka-proud lang sa sarili na natulungan ko yung parents ko. And gusto ko... Uh, continue pa yun. In some schools, dealing with people on the base of the pyramid normally renders a different approach to education to adjust to their comprehension, therefore subsequently lowering the standards of teaching. I think the first rule is we've never lowered our standards. We demand from our students, regardless of where they come from, the same standards we would demand of anybody else from any other income class. Proving the effectiveness of the business model, the company has been seeing the fruits of their hard work. Our board passing rates have gone up, our employability rates have gone up, our tuition fees have gone down the past five years. Our core values have been with us from the very beginning. It starts with integrity. In effect, you might say we pursue profit with honor, uh, professionalism, competence, and patriotism. Those are the key core values of the FINMA group from 60 years ago, and we continue to live by them to this very day. Ultimately, the proof of the pie is in the, in the eating, and for us, therefore, that means the proof of our success really is in the success of our students. <laughs>